I'm Ken Overcast. I got a little story for you. Uh, I'd like to read you a little story called BRM, The Affectionate Solution. BRM stands for, for uh, Bull Rider's Mentality. I'll let you know that a little ahead of time. It's out of our book, uh, Shooting the Breeze. It goes like this. Boy, I sure don't seem to heal up near as fast as I used to, and I'm afraid it's a little more than just the natural aging process. It's clearly a result of rather common form of abuse and misuse. These poor old joints are getting pretty stiff from all these years of harsh treatment. And when I can dig up the energy to turn my head, you'd swear to goodness that somebody was popping popcorn. In fact, things have deteriorated to the point that I've even stooped to giving a little thought to being a little more careful. But on second thought, it's probably already too late. Perish that dumb idea. I guess I'll just keep going till I freeze down in a rocking chair, and <laughs> that might not be all that far off the way I operate. It's really not that I'm all that reckless. It's just that because of my twisted childhood, I have this mistaken idea that I'm somehow bulletproof. Parental over-affirmation will do that, you know. I've got what is known down at the psycho ward as bull rider mentality. That's B-R-M. Everyone who somehow has contracted this ailment also suffers from an abnormally high SQ. That stands for stupidity quotient. There seems to be quite a bit of the stuff out here in the West, and I think maybe the time I fell out of the barn loft on my head might have a little something to do with it. A guy afflicted with a malady of this sort can get himself in all kinds of jackpots. Like, for instance, the time I found a foot rock bull in the brush down on the creek. It was way past breeding season and nearly time that we gathered them anyway. He really wasn't doing any harm down there, and even though it's been my experience that time usually heals that stuff about as well as a real vet sort of treatment, I just have to take him home so I can give him the proper medication. Of course, he doesn't want to go. Those old boys can get a little cranky when they don't feel good anyway, and some jokers to try is trying to chase them uphill out of the shade by their favorite water hole. A hand without BRM would just get a few cows and nurse him along with them, but rather than take the easy way out, <laughs> old wild and woolly me gets a kink in my tail and says, Oh yeah? Try this on for size as I stick a loop on a ton of bull headed on a dead run downhill through some choke cherry bushes. I think I forgot to mention that my SQ, that's my stupidity quotient, had already assured me that my cinch was probably tight enough. Hurry, he's getting away. You don't need much of an imagination to guess what happens next. I'll spare you some of the gorier details, but when I finally crawled back to the house that night, the cook thought I must have jumped off a six-story building into a cement mixer. The scarier the endeavor, appears to folks with normal brain waves, the greater the challenge to, to a guy suffering from BRM. I'm convinced that it isn't because the sufferer is sight impaired, impervious to pain, or that he's even overly courageous. In fact, he might actually be a real chicken at heart, but in every case I'm aware of, his SQ, that's his stupidity quotient, has him firmly persuaded in his frequently stepped on head that he's perhaps the only person in the universe that could achieve the objective before him without serious bodily harm. Unfortunately, sufferers just don't seem to possess the mental capacity to calculate the risk-reward ratio of the stupid stunt they're about to attempt. As a result, well, <laughs> stuff happens. I may very well be the nation's leading expert on BRM by default. Most of the others that caught it have long since violently passed on to their reward or punishment, depending on your theology, or they're just too darn bashful to speak up. So as the official spokesman for BRM Anonymous, I feel compelled to take some time away from the 12-step program we're developing to help set the record straight. We get a bad rep with a lot of folks for being reckless, wild, crazy, dumb, etc., etc., when it's really the positive aspects of our personality that gets us in the mess in the first place. 
Sometimes a BRM sufferer will tie into a little project that even someone, quote, normal, unquote, would attempt. The big difference is here is that when the deal turns south and the normal guy pulls out, we fail to ascertain the potential pain and suffering. The SQ factor kicks in and we just pull our hat down, pour on the spurs. The result of which, assuming we're successful, is additional overaffirmation of our bulletproofness. The only make, that only makes things worse when the next deal comes up. Unfortunately, about half the time, the result is more like the normal guy without the cranial constipation of a BRM sufferer thought it would be, and we have another wreck on our hands. We either wind up being a hero for accomplishing an impossible task single-handedly, or more often than not, look like an idiot with our clothes in tatters, hide missing on every exposed surface. So you see, some of the wild, reckless characters in your life really may have a legitimate explanation for their behavior. Most of them don't even know they have a problem, much less the source, and because of the mental deficiencies already mentioned, wouldn't admit it to you if, they, if you took the time to make an explanation. Although BRM, bull rider mentality, unfortunately has no cure, research scientists have developed a simple method to alleviate its symptoms. Now this is the part that's the truth, girls. It appears to be relatively easy to control with an increased level of fervent feminine affection and companionship. Ladies, please take the time to hug a cowboy today. You may be their only hope, and their health and their safety depends upon it. <laughs> I'm Ken Overcast. Stop by our website if you get time, kenovercast.com. Till next time, <laughs> have a good one.